Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Baby Lock Presto 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean and maintain your machine. So to start with, let's take out the thread. Remember, snip it up here, pull the excess thread this way, and let's also take the bobbin out at the same time. Put the cover back on there for now. Now, one of the main things that helps improve sewing is to have a good needle. So what I've been told is every three full bobbins of thread that you use with the needle, without changing that needle, after that time, the needle's gone through the fabric so many times it's starting to get a little dull at the tip. So time to change your needle after three full bobbins. Also, of course, if your, your needle is bent or, um, or got a hook at the end, definitely change it at that point. Okay, so let's take off the foot, get that out of the way. Then I'm gonna take the needle out. Now, I will tell you right now, the book does say turn off your machine so that, for safety purposes, but for learning purposes, I'm leaving the machine on so that you can see. Just to let you know, when your presser foot is up, if you push on that foot control, the needle's not gonna go down. Okay, but just for safety purposes, you might wanna have your machine off. So I'm going to take the needle out, loosen the little screw. Now the needle's out of the way and I'm gonna park it in my little sewing basket there so it's out of the way. This is one of the screwdrivers that comes with your machine. Um, it's a special wide screwdriver for these wide screws that are on your baby lock machine. Okay, so now we wanna take off the table there. And this part's really easy. You just by hand pull it forward and take it off. Now it gives you a little message over here, E11, that just means this plate is not on your machine. So for your most of your general cleaning, all you need to do is lift out your bobbin case, brush it on all sides, brush out any lint in there. This is especially important to do after you've sewn like some pajamas or anything that's flannel or fuzzy things like batting, uh, lint tends to build up in there really good. You can also brush out a little bit around the feed dogs. It is possible to take this off, but for general purposes, you don't really need to take that off. Brushing here will just suffice really nicely. Now, you can also use your vacuum cleaner attachment to get extra lint out of there, but do not use canned air. The reason why I don't use canned air is for two reasons. For one thing, it blows stuff further back in your machine. But the second reason, and I've discovered this personally, is you spray it long enough, it's gonna start leaving frost, spraying frost on whatever you're spraying. Frost is moisture and moisture, you don't want that in your machine. So no canned air, okay? So, but for the most part, just using your brush is fine. And if you, if you sew a lot every day, I'd clean my machine once a week. If you sew maybe a couple times a week, once a month should be about right. Okay. So we'll put that back in there like that and line up the little tabs like this, push it forward. And that beep that you heard that was saying, oh, I'm, I'm sensing this, this is put, being put back in place. That's what you need to do. So let's put this back on like this. Lower the presser foot, that's back on. Let me put the needle on. Actually, I'm gonna keep that off for now because it's really, I like to have the foot out of the way when I'm changing my needle. Now, for putting your needle in, we're gonna put it in right behind where it says number six there. I like this little tool. This is actually a um, serger brush. It's from one of our baby lock sergers. It's a separate tool that you can buy and it's a really nice little thing to hold the needle rather than just holding it with my fingers. It's kind of like, acts like a handle for the, the needle. Now notice where I'm poking, I'm poking right down there where it sews, that gives the backward and forward, then straight up into the needle clamp and then tighten that. So I'm holding it with the this brush here to make it nice and tight. And then we tighten it a little bit more using the screwdriver so make sure it's more than just finger tight. And that puts that right on there. And then to put your foot back on, line up the stitch hole there with the stitch hole and the needle plate. Line those two up, lower your presser foot, and that goes right back on. 
Now use good quality needles like Schmitz or Classe. Avoid cheap needles because even brand new cheap needles can uh, affect your stitching and not be good for, for things. Also use good quality thread like Mettler. Mettler is a good quality thread. Don't use really old thread that your grandma had just because you're trying to use it up because thread does have, it ages over, a while, over time. You're gonna get best results with good needles and good thread. So that is our maintenance video. It's all pretty simple. Something that you can do regularly and should do regularly to get best results with your sewing. We have lots of other videos that you can watch. If you found this video to be helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area below. Thanks for watching. Bye.